Once we got going, I couldn't stop. I thought they were friends. She came on to him. Look at what she was wearing. Everyone else was doing it. She never says no. But that was last year. That's just how she What's is. What's the big deal? I heard she liked she it. She sleeps around. That happened forever ago. She was asking for it. Did you see the way she was dancing? But they were both drunk. Have you seen her profile pic? But I heard they were dating. You may have heard explanations such as these for why it wasn't rape, as the rapist is not responsible for their behavior while drunk. In fact, the Georgia statute says that the drunken perpetrator is responsible, and the U.S. Supreme Court has held that a perpetrator who is blacked out due to alcohol or drug consumption is responsible for their behavior. Having sex is always a mutual decision. Both parties must be aware and sober enough to understand their decisions and the consequences of those decisions. When one person says no, that means no. If one person says, I'm not in the mood, that means no too. Or silence, not saying anything, it is safest to assume that means no. Or, of course I love you, I'm just not sure. That also means no. Which brings us to date rape drugs. You should know that the number one date rape drug is alcohol and that others include Rohypnol, GHB, and Ketamine, which has a variety of street names. Remember that the taste of date rape drugs is often masked in drinks, especially sweet ones, and your drink does not need to be alcoholic to be spiked. Symptoms can include loss of coordination, problems seeing or focusing, dizziness, and slurred speech. So be aware of your surroundings. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't right. Get away. Go to safety. It could save your life. 